Um, first off for Ahmed, do you think the turnovers were the biggest problem for you guys today? I think that played a big part in our loss. But defensively, we weren't that good. I think they shot over 50%. We got to do a better job in playing harder. And, and what, what was the problem defensively? It seemed like there were a few missed assignments late in the game. You guys, a little guy slipped to the basket for a dunk, kind of, I think, kind of sealed the game, gave them a seven point lead. Were, were there just a bunch of missed, uh, missed assignments? I think there was a lot of mental lapses and that, that hurt us at the end, but we're going to regroup and get better. And then, Rebel, can you uh, kind of speak on the turnovers today? Uh, <clears throat> they're costly at this level, um, especially playing against a good team uh, like Stanford as well. That's discipline. Giving them easy, easy buckets is uh, it's tough to play. Uh, catch up. Uh, can you talk about the zone that they used a little bit, the trap out of, out high, and the difficulties it, it gave you guys? It seemed like you had trouble generating stuff against that. Um, you know, we we haven't seen a one through one. You know, we, we practice it all the time, and uh, you know, with their length, it, it didn't cause problems. It caused uh, us to not move the ball like what we want to. So. Robert, you've seen Stanford for seven times now. That's a team with a lot of fight. Just with the way you guys thrive on offense, is that just time in and time out a tough matchup for you, you think? Uh, you know, length is always going to be a problem, but I wouldn't just predicate it off, you know, just them. Uh, that's just with anybody. And, uh, you know, we if we would have executed our game plan, it would have it been better for us if we would have got stopped at the end of the CJ, you played the entire game 40 minutes. That's easily a season high for you. How did your legs feel at the end of the game? Um, they felt fine. I mean, we get we get plenty of breaks to, to catch our breath, and so I, I think my legs were fine. Seeing De Dejon Davis out there, he was from Barfield. You guys played against each other in high school. Just what is it, you know, how do you, what does it mean for you to see so many players from the Seattle area starring at, um, in the Pac-12, and what's that like going against some of your former rivals? I mean, like you said, I, I played them for years now, and even in the AAU circuit. So he was my teammate once, but it's, it's just a blessing to see the guys get to this next level and, and to be able to compete at, at the level we do. It's a, it's a blessing. Ahmed, you had a really nice first half offensively. How comfortable did you feel out there on the floor tonight? I felt, I felt good. Got a workout in before the game. For all of you guys out there after this tough loss here, what are some positive things that you could take out of this game as you guys go back on the road? Uh, we got our full team back, and so that's that's great. We, nobody's hurt, and everybody's ready to go. So that's, that's what we're taking on the road, a full team. Both Robo and CJ, when when Ahmed is is that hot and that efficient, do you guys need to find ways to, to get him more than seven shots in a game? Uh, I would say definitely, you know, especially when he's shooting four for five from the three point line. You know, that that's something that um, that can feed for us, uh, him, him making shots and, and, and him um, getting more shots. So I, I would I would definitely say yes. And CJ, same for you. I I, I agree with you. Same. Hey, you guys. Yes.